All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to access your Google Drive in three different ways. So um, the first way you're going to want to do it is as soon as you click, click your Google Chrome application, which is right here, I'm not sure which um, browser will open up for you guys. I'm assuming it's your Clever account. And if that's the case, we're going to start with Clever first. So assuming that when you click Google Chrome, the first window that opens up is Clever, you're going to have your Clever logins. Once you log into Clever, you're then going to see your student dashboard. Mine is a little bit more cluttered because I have more apps as I'm a teacher. But for you guys, if you scroll down all the way to links for you guys, you'll see that you have your Google Drive button here. And when you click it, it's going to open up the Google drive for whatever account you're logged in. And you'll see here that it's my picture um, because this is my personal um, account. I have two Google accounts. I have one for um, work and then one for personal use. And this is my personal one. So that's the clever way. That's probably one of the easier ways for you guys, especially if it's the first window that opens up on your computer. Now let's go to the second way. So the second way, let's say Google pops up from the Google Chrome um, application, which makes sense because it's a Google app. So the first way to do it is if you go to the right hand screen next to your picture of your account, you're going to see um, what we like to call a waffle. And it's really actually the Google apps that you can use in Google. So when you click it, you're going to see all the applications you can use. And down here in my third row is my Google Drive. So when you click that, it'll then take you to that same account, that same drive that I showed you moments ago. And that is the second way to get to your drive. Now, the easy, the way I use it, because I'm a little bit quicker and I know what to click, let's say you don't know those two other ways to get to your drive. If you click up here, which is the search engine bar, and you just type in Google Drive, click enter, it's going to take you to this link. Now, the first link that you click, and you don't want to click this, this is just the how to get a Google Drive and all that information about what Drive is, what it's used for, all of that. You don't want to click that. You're going to look down here where it says Google Drive and then My Drive. You're going to click the My Drive, and that's going to then take you immediately to your Google Drive. And those are the three different ways to do it. Now, you're going to want to... Um, learn which way is best for you because you're probably going to use a Google account for the rest of your adult and academic life and they're really handy to have. It's really easy to share stuff. You can have 20 people on one document. It's awesome. And there's a lot of different features you can use in Drive and I'm going to show you how to use those features in different videos. But for now, these are the three different ways you can get to your Drive. Find one that works for you and I hope you enjoyed this video.